Hello everyone! Today we are going to show you what we have got while creating a transparent bee hive. Let's take a look at an ordinary hive. As you can see, this is a wooden box that consists of a pallet, a body and a lid. The body is filled with bee frames. There are about 1000 bees on one such frame. As you can see, they are already busy fussing. The frames are set one to one, so it is easier for the family to gather in a heap and get warm at cold nights, because the temperature inside the hive is always maintained at 37 degrees Celsius. The transparent hive will have vertical frames to make it convenient to keep track of the bees. As you may have guessed, it will turn out to be high if you compare it with a standard hive. It remains to transfer this wall idea into real life. This is the draft of the hive with four vertical frames. We've cut the blanks, washed them, washed them down where necessary, now we polish the boards so that the bees do not run themselves a splinter. We put together the frame, which is made from a bar. And there will be two such frames, i.e. the finished hive will be for eight frames. Let's skip the stage of the entire assembly. I think it's not the most important thing and move on to glazing. For this stage, we have been cut out some custom-made glass blanks of plexiglass according to our sizes. Such material is easy cut, holes can be drilled in it without any problems and attached to the hive frame. And most importantly, plexiglass is 100 times stronger than ordinary glass. Do you remember we've said that bees maintain a constant temperature in the hive? There is a frame from the beam plus the outer board, and in addition we have a thickness of 50 mm. For an ordinary hive it is 35, so we will also add doors that will close when we are not near. The frame for the doors is made for a reason. We put foam plastic insulated material inside and sew it up with plywood. As the hive has two transparent walls, there will also be two doors. Of course, bees are unique insects, and if there are extra drafts in the hive, they will simply close up all unnecessary cracks with propolis. However, this takes both time and propolis, so we will eliminate all unnecessary drafts with the help of sealing rubber bands. And self-tightening bolts will help to close the doors tightly. It seems that there is not a single gap left, but if there's anything, the bees know what to do. I hope such a thermos will isolate the bees from the external environment to the maximum and they will need minimal efforts to maintain the internal microclimate. After all, the shape of the hives is far from the standard. The doors are hung, the roof is next. It will be gable upholstered with a sheet of aluminum and painted grey. By the way, I forgot to show there will be a niche under the roof. The hive entrance block is a place where the bees come into and out the hive. It remains to make holes. The top has four positions – ventilation mode, half-open, fully closed and fully open. In addition, there is a lower block, through which the main traffic of bees will be. It is also equipped with a landing area. Well, guys, the hive is assembled. It's time to install it. Two days have passed, the hive has been painted and all unnecessary smells have gone, although both paint and varnish are water-based and odorless. It's time to settle new residents. We will definitely do this in the evening at sunset when all the bees, like obedient children, return home. In the meantime, let's prepare their new house for moving in. We unscrew the screws and take out the glass. We close the entrance block and move the hive to their new home. Don't forget about the smoker. The fact is that any rearrangement is stressful for the bees and they will perceive us as a direct threat and begin to sting. The smoke is like soothing.
The resettlement stage is over, the bees are in a new house and we can close them. Tomorrow we will return to them, but now document the injuries. I have a sting in me for about 20 minutes until the resettlement is completed. Whoever is allergic to bee sting, it's better to bypass them. One day later. The weather is good and the bees begin to fly around the area. There are some guards at the entrance and look how many bees are involved in the security service. They are free from any work and are engaged in protecting the hive from people like we and they are even ready to sacrifice their lives. After all, the bee dies after it stings. The guards also protect the hive from enemies and thieves. No matter how strange it may sound, theft of honey is practiced among bees. A strong family can plunder a weak one. Well, guys, there is the moment of truth. We tear off the film of the plexiglass and look at the result of our long work. It's turned out really cool. The work is in full swing. Here is the larva, soon a new bee will appear in its place. Here are the bees, here are they still on the street, but here they are already at home and you can watch their movement. Here the glass is very tightly attached to the frames in some places and has blocked the bees from accessing the comps. And what do they do? They work to cut off some extra wax. And here a completely different work is going on. You may remember I've said that bees will cover all extra gaps with propolis. This is what the hard workers are busy with now. And look how many workers have been thrown on this mission. It seems that the bees act chaotically. In fact, a hierarchy reigns here and everyone is busy with their own business. A worker bee performs various types of work during its life. The first job after the birth is to clean the cells in which the queen lays its legs and to heat and ventilate the hive. The worker bees then move on to feeding the young bees and taking honey from the foraging bees. And only after that, the worker bees begin to make independent flights for honey. The honey bee is very easy to identify by the yellow baskets on its paws. By the way, I forgot to say that the pass to the hive is carried out by smell. Each bee stores this smell in a special recess of the body. Flying up to the entrance block, the bee opens it and presents the smell to the guards as its pass. There is the brood in the sealed frames, i.e. the queen has laid its eggs there and soon new bees will burn. By the way, we haven't seen the queen yet, but I think we will definitely show it in one of the next videos about bees. There are three types of bees in total, one queen per family, a worker bee, these are girls who work hard, and drone. Drones are like males, they do not work, they only eat honey and fight each other for the queen's insemination. And now we will treat the bees with syrup. We've made a transparent feeding frame. For this, we have glued two plexiglasses to the standard frame, and so that the bees do not drown in syrup, we have made a raft for them from an ordinary school ruler. We send the frame to the hive and fill it with syrup. This is what 4 hours of time-lapse filming looks like. The syrup goes away quite quickly. Well, guys, a week has passed, the weather has completely deteriorated from spring turned into autumn, and it has been raining for more than a week. Bees do not fly in such weather, they just beautify their building. Here we have filmed another funny moment as they line up in a pyramid and build honeycombs. The lower ones hold the upper ones and pass the building material from bottom to top. 
you can watch the bees forever, but eternity will not fit in one video, so we will finish. Don't forget about the bell if you want to see the sequel. Bye-bye!